Hey, I am really excited to, about today's craft. I've been having fun all morning using my paints and um, getting things started before we did this video. And uh, we are doing a thing called Paper Crush. So I will show you what we're doing it with and hopefully you have some supplies gathered together. Our first thing today that we're gonna be painting on is paper towel, just simple paper towel. So hopefully you have some white paper towel and even if your paper towel has print on it, It'll work. Um, it's a great medium to paint on. That's what we're going to use today. So paper towel. And then um, today I also have a tray of watercolor paints. So depending on the supplies that you were able to gather, you may have a tray of watercolor paints or you may have something like um, food coloring or liquid watercolor. And I put my liquid watercolor in a little, um, little, container like this so I wouldn't spill it on my floor. And um, food coloring works, liquid watercolor works, watercolors in a tray work. And then I have a little jar of water to rinse out my brush to keep us going. And then of course I have some brushes. And then I thought just, and you may not have these right now, but I also have a couple of regular sheets of paper you know, sheets of white paper that I tested out, and that was kind of fun too. So if you have any white paper, you can kind of grab some of that. We are going to get started now. Um, I should probably show you a little bit of what I, well, what I came up with, and it's almost like tie-dye. So let's get started. I am going to turn the camera onto my tray so that you can see, and we can work together. Here we go. It's called Paper Crush. So the first thing I do is take my paper towel and pull off one of the sheets. Now mine happen to be, um, you know, some paper towels have edges that you can just pull off, perforated edges. And so I got a little strip like this, but what I am gonna do is cut that into a square. And actually I am going to rip that into a square. Just like that. A little smaller to work with, a little bit more fun at the end of the project. So then, now you take and you crush it up with your hand. Just squeeze it and squeeze it and squish it and squish it and squish it, and then stick it on your tray. Now you need probably a tray to work on, or um, if you're just working on your kitchen counter, um, cover it with a piece of newspaper, or work on a plastic bag, or a plate. A paper plate works good too. So there we go. Um, so now the paint, let's see. I think I'm going to work with the watercolor paint or if you have food coloring first because that was kind of fun. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some different colors. Here's orange, dip it into the orange paint and then stick it onto the crushed up paper towel wherever I want. I'm just dabbing it along. So I'm gonna change colors now. And every time I change colors, I kind of rinse out the brush in my water over here. So let's see, that turned out orange. How about if I do some green with that? Okay, so here we go. Oh, whoop. Yep, and paper towel is kind of cool because it's absorbent. That means it sucks in the liquid and distributes it throughout all the fibers of the paper towel. Ooh, so I got some green on there. Now I'm gonna rinse a little bit. And then let's see, how about some blue? Yeah, blue's good. We're gonna do some blue and I just keep dabbing wherever I see some white, tucking it in the nooks and crannies and, you know, dabbing around. And what is this gonna look like? Oh, some more white there. I don't wanna pull it apart too much because I kinda of wanna be surprised at how it's gonna look. Um, let's see, oh, purple, gotta do some purple. So that's my last color. I'm gonna really get it in there. And dab, 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 dab. And do you think it's time to look and see what it turned out like? I do. So rinse and rinse. And open, open, open. What did this turn out like? Oh, cool. Look at that. And that's just a square of paper towel. And it turns out all pretty and tie-dyed. And it's a little wet. So I'm going to set it aside to dry down here 
you can't see it, but on my floor, I have a, a piece of paper and I'm going to put it on my piece of paper on the floor and let it dry a little bit. So let's do another one. I got another one right here and you crush it up. And this time, instead of using my, um, my food coloring or water, liquid watercolor, I'm going to show you what it turns out like if I use a tray of watercolor paints. It's kind of fun. You need a little bit more water from your rinse out jar. So I crushed my, crushed my ball of paper towel and I'm dabbing it in here and I'm getting a lot of water on my brush and I'm gonna start with green cause I like green and then I'm gonna dab it again. And it's similar, but it's a little less watery. So you have to make sure you get more paint on your brush and you have to keep dipping your brush into water if you're using the, the, um, the solid watercolors. But they turn out just as great. So let's see, green, oh, I got yellow, I got some yellow. Green and yellow go together really good. So I'm gonna dab in the water and keep on dabbing and dabbing and dabbing and let that absorbent paper towel just suck up the color and suck up the water. Yep, that's why people use paper towels to suck up <laughs> liquids and messes and clean things because it's so absorbent. Anyway, so this is sort of almost a science slash art project. You can figure out how things get sucked up into some paper towel. Okay, so well, I got some, oh, I got lots of white over here. What should, oh, we're gonna do some red, I think, over here in my solid watercolor tray. Getting lots of water on it. Also rinsing a little bit, making it nice and juicy. I got lots of red and I got some green. Oh, look at that, what, oh, blue. We're gonna do some blue, a little water. Make it nice and juicy and do some blue. Ooh, I think it's gonna turn purple. You can get a lot of color mixing going on here. So if you um, dip your brush into one color and then another color, you are gonna get some color mixing. That, that's one way to do it. And then also as the paper towel absorbs your color, it's gonna mix together the colors that you've already got on your piece of paper towel. Well, that looks pretty good. What do you think? I think we could open this one up and see what it turned out like. Ooh, awesome. A little bit more. Oh, that's a pretty one. Ooh, good. It's a little bit lighter in color than the liquid watercolor or food coloring would be, but look at how gorgeous that is. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to set that one aside and um, let that one dry. And I'm going to do maybe one more. And I think what I'm going to do is um, decide, I'm ripping my paper towel again. So it's a nice, easy to work on square. And I think I'm just gonna use two colors and a splatter and see what happens. I was using lots of different colors on those, but you can decide, because this is art, you can decide what you want it to look like. And I'm gonna decide that I want it to look all orange and yellow. So there's my little ball, crushed it up and I'm dipping my brush into the water and getting my yellow all juicy. And yellow, 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 yellow. Deuce, 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 watercolor, watercolor. Okay, and <laughs> a lot more liquid. This paper towel is really sucking it up. Okay, I think I'm gonna do some orange. I'm just gonna do orange and yellow and see what it looks like. So. You could do all red and orange. You could do, you could pick your colors, green and yellow. And I just saw some black in my solid watercolor tray. And I think, even though I said I was only gonna do two colors, <laughs> I just decided I'm gonna just put a little splash of black onto this, just for contrast. That's enough. Let's see what happened. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pull it apart. Oh, cool. There, I've got some dots. So you can get some really interesting effects. And of course, you don't have to keep painting it when it's all crushed up. If you wanted to do 
if you saw a great big white spot that, that didn't get covered and you thought, well, I'm not really sure I like that. I want to add some color there. You could decide what color. Get a little paint on your brush. And I think I'm going to go with red this time. And I'm going to hit my white spot. I'm going to kind of drip it on. Oopsie. And see what happens and how the paper towel absorbs that water and that color. See how I did that? Woo! Yeah, so much for just yellow and orange, right? <laughs> we had a little red. And now I kind of like it. Now I really like it. It's very interesting. Okay, so um, I mentioned that you can keep doing as many of these as you want. They all turn out different. And, but I'm going to switch it up now for a second because I mentioned that um, I was doing it on regular paper. So I have a pet regular sheet of paper that I got out of the copy machine. Um, and I'm going to make some squares out of that. And so I'm folding it in half, increasing it. And you can use scissors, too, to cut this up. I just lost my scissors a little while ago, so I'm relying on ripping and tearing. <laughs> and, you know, ripping and tearing is kind of good things. You might get a kind of a weird shape going on that would be really fun. So there we go. There's my square. And again, I'm going to crush it up. And let's see what happens when I just do regular paper. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to do liquid watercolor this time. Doesn't really matter, it's just color. Let's do some blue. Ooh, it's not soaking in, it's not absorbing as much as the paper towel. That's what I notice already. It's not sucking deep within my little crushed paper. Let's see, what goes with blue? How about lime green? I'm a cool lime green fan. And yeah, it's not absorbing quite as much, but so I have to kind of physically stick my brush into all those cracks, nooks and crannies, to get that paper to take on the color. There we go. Ah, there we go. Ooh, blue and green is cool. All right. And I'm going to do a little splash of orange, I think, just for fun. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to open it up. Ooh, it's really soggy. I did sort of a soggy job. It's making the paper really almost ready to tear. So I have to be very careful when I'm opening it up. But oh, cool, look at that. Sweet. It sort of stays, uh oh, I ripped it. <laughs> it stays kind of, the color doesn't suck around the paper as much. It just sort of stays where you put it. But that's a kind of a cool effect. So you can, you can test out different paper um, with, with doing this. And so today we just did a lot of, just did a lot of with paper towel and I did one with regular paper. But then what do you do with all of the fun things that you make? I'm gonna show you what I did. Um, if you have another larger piece of paper, you can kind of make a quilt out of it. And so I'm gonna pull this off the floor and show you what I did. Okay, um, I put the ones that we just did here, but earlier today when I was playing, I took the ones that I made, oops, and they're dry now, and I started to glue them on a large sheet of paper. The ones that I did out of regular paper are in the middle, and the ones that I did out of paper towel are on the side, and I thought it was kind of a nice collage, so I just glue them to a larger sheet of paper, and then a little bit later, I'm going to put them on my refrigerator. So I do have a little glue stick here, and so if you want, this one's nice and dry, so all you have to do is a little bit of glue on that, stick it down, and it'll stay right where you put it. So later, you can put it on your refrigerator when it's dry. Yeah, you have to really wait till it's, it's dry to glue it. But then you have a nice almost quilt pattern. Fun kind of thing to look at. So there you go. I love it. It's tie-dye <laughs> with paper and paint. So um, have fun experimenting with this. Try a lot of things. Try a lot of different colors. That's it for today. Well, thanks so much for showing that. That's really cool. Um, that's a fun craft and it's really neat how you can assemble it together.
And it's interesting that there's so much science in that art and there's always art in science too. Those things are so linked. Well, we're going to be hosting more sessions like this every week. Today is Tuesday, so we're doing Get Crafty. We're going to do Get Crafty again next week on Tuesday. On Thursday, we're going to do Let's Create a Story, where we're going to get together. We're going to come up with a story together, and we're going to let you decide the outcome. And then on Friday, we're going to do First Step Science, where we're going to learn about scientific tools and explore the world around us. Those are all at 11 o'clock, and you can register for those by going to www.greatlakeskids.org slash news and events. And if you're able to donate to the Children's Museum during this time, you can go to www.greatlakeskids.org slash donate and check out what the, we have there. Anything that you can give during this time is appreciated. So we hope to see you again. And uh, until then, we're going to say goodbye. Bye. Bye.